why did I put those onions in that pan like that? Well, we're gonna be caramelizing onions today. Because again, I'm here with my friend Pam, and uh, we are making tomato caramelized onion soup, right? You this is Pam's recipe. Um, we're gonna be using that pot right there. What do we call that pot? A Dutch oven. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, but we're starting out with the onions, and this is what I want to show you right now, really important. Onion goggles. You know how you cry a lot with onions? Well, never cry again. I, I recommend them highly. So do I. <laughs> and now we're just going to finish our onions for the caramelized onions. And then we're going to come back and start the soup. Right, so let's talk about caramelizing onions for a minute. So you don't really need to put oil or anything. The whole idea is you're trying to get the water out of the onion. And um, so you just want a nice low heat, as low as you can go. And then Pam's suggestion, which I think is a great one, is you add some salt as well, because the salt helps release the water too. So there we have it. Now we're just going to let these hang out and cook for a minute. Well, actually more than a minute. They take quite a long time. Probably like an hour, don't you think? Yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. Yep. But they're worth it. First of all, we're going to start with a little bit of olive oil in our pan. Just okay. about, you know, tablespoon. I like to just do a, a quick little circle and that just kind of gets things going. Nice. I've got the gas on medium. Is that good? Perfect. Okay. Yes, exactly. It's always good to start at medium. Okay. Then we got a garlic. Woohoo! Again. Garlic. Yeah. <laughs> and two, you don't want to burn your garlic because it gets bitter in your your dish. So you just want to give it a nice little mix around here at the bottom. Let it go to listen yeah. and it's making a little bit of a sizzle which is also a good indicator so don't walk away a little mustard grain mustard it's got all the little grains in it you can see the little seeds mm -hmm. well, now is there a reason why you're putting that in now like while it's still gonna get like fried in the bottom of the olive oh, it's just kind of mixing in just mixing it yeah, in yeah 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 just get it all in there and oh that smells good too oh my god doesn't it Wow. I'm going to throw a little bit of fresh tarragon. We're using this right now. And I'm just going to break it out with my fingers. You know, you could chop it up and it'd be really great. But it's such a beautiful leafy herb that you can just yeah. kind of break it up. It's easy. It has no great woody stems or anything like that in there. And I like tarragon. It's kind of like a French kind of thing, right? The tarragon? I guess so. Because huh? I know I don't cook with it that much, but this is smelling really good. Isn't it? Well, mm. cool. Then we have the chopped tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, I'm sorry. And, you know, it's good to have canned, and if you're a home cook and you do your own, that's even better. But, you know. Fresh is always best. It is. It really is. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm opening a can. But anyway. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it does. you just want to make it without that work. Exactly. And this is an easy, delicious soup, and also, it's crushed tomatoes that have been fire roasted, but you can just get, you can get just any other crushed tomatoes or do your own, like I said. Yeah, and if you do your own fire, fire roasted, it's easy. You just cut them in half and put them in the oven with some olive oil, salt and pepper. Let's come closer, and we'll look at the water that's coming out of the onions. So you see how that happens? This is about 15 minutes in. And you see how it's starting to shrink again. Uh, let's check it in a little bit. So with the tomatoes and the wine and the vinegar and all of that has been cooking for a while, we let it reduce a little bit. And now we're going to add a little bit of salt. Good pinch, strong pinch. Again, with this great real salt that's delicious with the Redmond's Red, real salt, as well as some pepper. Keep it down low, stir it in, and again, just let it keep on simmering because now you're going to get everything to start marrying together. 
Did I hear you say something about wine? <laughs> <laughs> wine? Hmm. Well, I thought you said it, so. I did. Cheers. Cheers. We're, we have to wait for this to finish cooking. Exactly. You we might as well enjoy something. your wine. Yep. You can see. So they're they're getting there. They're almost done. Just wanted to see how and see how far it cooked down. Remember we had that big pile of onions. Well, we now we're gonna have this beautiful, yummy caramelized onion. So I ladled in the soup, caramelized onions, and a pat of butter, and I'm gonna blend. This looks heavenly. Look at this. Alrighty then. Yep. It looks delicious. It looks amazing. Look at this beautiful bowl. Look how creamy that is too. So you put some of the caramelized onions in there. Mm -hmm. And what are we going to do with the rest? Oh, put perfect. them on top. Okay. Just nice. a nice little spoon. Wow. Drop them in there gently. Nice. And last but not least, we're adding a little creme fraiche, a little cold dollop. We'll have to do one on how to make that. You betcha. <laughs> and there you go. Wow. All right. Ta-da. Beautiful. Well, we should be tasting this soup. Hold on. <laughs> I'm excited to try it. Okay. Me, me we got to get a little bit of onion and the creme fraiche gotcha. and everything. Oh, wow. Good comfort food. It is. I mean, the little sour and the creme fraiche, but it's still sweet, mm -hmm. sweet onion, yeah. and that tomato full flavor soup. You gotta try this one. That's right. <laughs> Got the tomatoes tomorrow, so. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm like on the ground. Hi! <laughs> 